Stephen, can you tell us who you're riding here today? I'm riding, uh, he's called Renoir de Rock. He's an eight-year-old um, that I've produced all the way through, and this is his first International Grand Prix. In England, this is a great, like, uh, new venture to have, uh, to give an eight-year-old this sort of experience. It's, you know, international arena, it's, you know, fantastic set of fences. So uh, I think it's, I'm really pleased to have supported it, and all of mine have come on really well for this show. When I left school, I realised it was important to train correctly and to learn, and then so I spent seven years with William Funnell and also Pippa helped me, and uh, yeah, obviously I had a lot of great tuition and got on some, some fantastic horses, and then uh, so yes, yeah, so I spent seven years there, and I've now been on my own eight years, and yeah, we specialise in the producing of the horses, and obviously some have to be sold to pay the bills, but um, obviously this is... I'm really pleased, like Renoir today, I jumped his mother, she won Grand Prix, and like she's bred him, and he's... Uh, so sort of stepping up to the same level, so it's really satisfying, yeah. And can you tell me about the horses that you rode for William? I understand you rode Mondrian, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Obviously, uh, William and I worked together. We produced Mondrian, um, so I was placed in his first International Grand Prix with him. I jumped in when he was eight years old, and, um, yeah, he was probably the standout horse for me. Also, there was Kevin Zed, who was a grey stallion. I jumped him, he was placed in the Fox in the final. He was an outstanding young horse, and he's a great sire, so... Yeah, they were the two standout horses from my time at Williams, but there were lots of them, so... And how satisfying is it for you to produce a young horse and to see them at competing at such level and going out and winning Hicksley Derby? Yeah, oh, it's, it's so rewarding, really. And, like, obviously, if the, if the horses have got the ability and then they're produced correctly and trained nicely, then there's, they'll end up top horses.